we we'll start with fundamentals. Then after fundamentals, we will now look at our technicals. Okay, so um, I'll be a little bit fast today. I'll be a little bit fast today. Okay, fundamentally, on Monday, there is no uh, report that will move market fundamentally on Monday. So as you can see, okay, let me confirm if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Good morning, Mr. Humphrey. Can you see my screen? Please, I need a yes if you can see my screen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Humphrey. That means everybody can see it. Okay, all right, good. So on Tuesday, we have um, uh, no fundamental news that we move the market on Tuesday. So that means Monday, Tuesday will be purely technical trading. So on Wednesday, we have the CPI, month in, month out CPI. Month in, month out CPI. That's on, on Wednesday. We have month in, month out CPI affecting the dollar at 1.30 p.m. Nigerian time. Remember I said CPI is inflation figure, consumer price index is inflation figure. If the percentage is increasing, it will strengthen the currency. The reason why it will strengthen the currency because interest rates will be adjusted. Once CPI is moving, interest rates will be adjusted. That is why it's positive to the currency. So if the figure here is increasing, but um, forecast is telling us, previous said is 1.3%, forecast say it's going to be 0.2%. If it's out, and is it close to this 0.2% or less than this 0.2%, okay, that will weaken the dollars, okay? If this is out also and it's maybe 0.5% or 0.3%, that will weaken the dollar. But if it increases and it's higher than the previous, that will strengthen the dollar. That's 1.30 p.m. on Wednesday, August 10, uh, August 10, 2022. I want to say 1992, <laughs> August 10, 2022. Is that right? So we leave that, we go to Thursday. On Thursday, we have unemployment claim affecting the UX, unemployment claim affecting the US. As you can see, okay, so we should take note of this. Um, focus is saying previous was 260,000, previous 260,000. Focus is saying it's going to increase, unemployment claim will increase. If this happens and more people are claiming that they are unemployed, that will weaken the dollar. So we wait for the actual at 1.30 p.m. on Thursday, August 11. If it's out and we say maybe 270,000, 280,000, 300,000, uh, unemployment claim figure that will weaken the dollar. So watch out for that. Then lastly, on Friday, we have the GDP for pounds, the GDP for pounds, okay? So the GDP for pounds is also a bit important because once the figures are going up, it will strengthen the pounds. If the figures are going down, it will weaken the pounds. And previous is saying, 0.5% increase in GDP, but forecast is saying we are going to see a reduction of minus 1.2%. If the actual is out and we have this minus 1.2% or lower than this, maybe we are saying minus 1.5% or minus 1.6%, we see figures that is worse than what we have in the forecast that will weaken the pounds. It will weaken the pounds. So make sure you take note of the two, both the prelim uh, GDP and the GDP month in, month out, and see the figures for yourself. Lower figure weakens the currency, higher figure strengthen the currency, okay? All right, so that's that. So that is what we will see uh, in this uh, and, um, fundamentals for this week. Then take note of this consumer sentiment, sentiment. That's prelim University of Michigan consumer sentiment. Okay, this is talking about how people view the economy, how consumers, both small and big consumers, how they view the economy. If the sentiment is positive, it will definitely affect the currency. But if the sentiment is negative, it will weaken the currency. So watch out for this. 
focus is saying is going to be higher. That's more positive sentiment compared to last month. And if the actual is out and we have more positive sentiment, that will affect the dollars, okay? It will strengthen the dollars. But if we have lower sentiment, that will affect the dollars negatively. So this is our fundamentals for this week. That's our fundamentals for this week. Uh, short and precise, that's the fundamental for this week. Uh, we are going to go into our technicals now so that we, we analyze it. For those of you that are always asking questions, how do you get this, how do you get that? I'm going to show, do it right here today, okay? So let me share my uh, MT4 screen with you guys as we go in. All right, so this is my MT4 screen. Yes, this is my MT4 screen with you guys showing Euro USD weekly uh, uh, four hour time frame, but we are going to weekly. So I click on weekly time frame, zoom it out so that we can see every aspect we need. Okay, uh, let me zoom it more. All right, so my bias, <clears throat> My bias for this week is neutral. That's my bias. My bias for Euro this week is neutral. It is neutral bias because market has been ranging at a particular point. So that's why my bias is neutral. Until that sentiment is changed, we are still there. Then I'm going to get my weekly support, my weekly resistance, which is the last week high and low. That's my weekly support and my weekly resistance. The last week high and low. Okay, so I've been able to do that perfectly. It's all right. So, uh, okay, this is it. Okay, perfectly. So my resistance, I'm doing this how you see it. I always do it. So my resistance for the week is 1.0289, 1.0289. While my support for the week is 1.01220, 1.0120, 1 1.0120. That's my support for the week. While my resistance is 1.0290, no, it might. Please use 90, round figure. 1.0290, while my support is 1.01. To zero bias is neutral. Okay, when we have neutral bias, most time the market goes either direction. Market will go in that direction. So watch out for this. So I have plotted this before now. So I have this. So we are going to move within this guy this week. So we are moving within this guy this week. So I'm expecting Euro USD to do this. Okay, it bounce up from here to this point. I'm expecting it. Then it can bounce down if you want. Then when it gets here, there may be a break then to this support. And at the same time, when it gets to this top, it may not, it may not bounce down. It may break and then go to the closest resistance and maybe from there to the next resistance. But don't forget, we don't have any strong fundamentals to push the market like, we have, um, what, was it, what was it called last week? NFP, okay? We don't have that strong fundamentals to push price this week. So we just trade and with our ears open. Remember when you're trading uh, technically, you must align your fundamentals with your technicals so that you can get substantial results or very positive results. The reason why I'm saying this, some of us traders, we don't listen to news. It is, it's not good. Listen to what is going on in the world. Listen to what is going on in the economy of the world. Read about what is going on in the economy of the world. Anything negative affecting the economy of the currencies you're trading, of the country you're trading their currency, it will affect that currency. Are you following me? So that's why it's important. Go to Bloomberg, CNBC, CNN, and so on, and watch news around the world, especially in the country you are trading their currency. If you're a lover of Euro USD, that means you're going to get a lot of news from the Eurozone. 
Germany, France, Italy, and so on, Spain. We are going to get a lot of news from these places, which are the strong powerhouse of euro. So this news bring together, you'll be able to determine what the euro is going to do. Also, you get the news of what is going on in US, in the stock market, in US economy, and in the labor market. Get news going on in this area and bring them together and see. Negative news, we always weaken currency. Positive news, we always strengthen currency. Okay, okay. for instance, now, I, you know, for some time, you said Russia is winning the war. Okay, I mean, the, Russia is losing the war. But of recent, we've seen that Russia has brought together some ammunition and they are ready to strike. If, they, if that strike takes place, what do you think? Oil price will rise again. Oil price will rise again. And if oil price rise, what will happen to dollar? Dollar will be weakened. What will happen to Canadian dollar? Canadian dollar will be strengthened. So get all these facts available and trade accordingly because everything happening, we see it on your charts. All right. So this is how Euro may likely behave this week. Okay. So I'm I'm seeing this push up that it may continue gradually to this point. So if that happens, if that push up continues gradually to that point, then we may see a break or a bounce. If it is a bounce, ensure that you have reversal candlestick pattern, shooting star, or bearish engulfing, or uh, uh, evening star, then you are going to see this guy dropping gently to this other line. Then if he breaks it, then it will go to the support at 1.0120 level. So if you break this guy, then you expect it to go down next. But for now, we are still moving within this range. So if it bounces up, upward from here, so we're expecting it to go and touch this guy at 1.0290. If it breaks it, then it should approach the next resistance at 1.0360 level. Bias is neutral for this week. So we might see a lot of ranging in Euro USD this week. So that's that for Euro USD for this week. Let's go to the next one, which is GBP UXD. GBP USD um, did very well, especially during the NFP. It moved. During the NFP, I traded AUD USD. So I only got 60 pips, no much, uh, compared to gold that moved 200 and something pips. Okay. And we saw that in NFP, the, the, the job increased and the payout, the earnings also increased. That is what strengthened the dollar. And you saw the dollar falling, scatter. So if you have uh, if you follow our analysis and you were able to smartly catch up, congratulations, you would have made some very good amount of money from that NFP. But if not, don't worry, another NFP is coming September, first week of September. So you will trade that. All right, guys. So uh, this is what we had last week. And I said it in this GBP that if this guy breaks out of this uh, trend of this channel, we will be moving downward. And you saw it. You saw it for yourself. It broke out and price moved downward. That was last week. So if you have traded that, you would have made some money from it. But this week, we are seeing another formation again. We're seeing another formation again. So that means all these ones are now obsolete. So before we come to this, let's look at the weekly chart first so that we can bring out our bias. So bias for this week is bearish to uh, neutral to bearish. That's my bias for GBP USD this week. Bearish, neutral to bearish. So uh, it's, it's much more possible for this guy to pull down more than pulling up. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So it's much more possible for this guy to pull down uh, more than pulling up. So I am trying to figure out the weekly resistance now and the weekly support. Because the weekly support, that's the weekly support. Okay. I believe some of you can see what I'm doing. Okay, good. So that's the support and resistance for uh, GBP USD. Okay, the, the closest resistance to price is at 1.21. Uh, five five one point two one five five. That's the closest resistance to price. 
why the closest support to price is at 1.2000. 1.2000. That's the closest support to the current price. Buyers is neutral to bearish. Let's flip over to four hours and see what that looks like and what we can bring out of this. So if you look at this guy, you can see he's falling gently here. So that's telling you that price is expecting that line you are seeing. So you can easily put a trend line to fit into that. Okay, I prefer this. I can easily put a trend line to fit into that and see how price break out of this trend line. Then at the same time, we can draw. Remember, I told you I love trend lines. Okay, at the same time, we can draw something like this also. Okay, we can draw something like this also, waiting for a breakout to any of the side waiting for a breakout, though it's not a strong trend line because it's only touching two points. So that makes it um, a weak one and not a strong trend line. But if you, if, you, if you look at it very well, we'll see that we having a kind of wave formation. Uh, that's what I wanted to consider. Look up here, then you see the reverser. Then from this reverser, we might see a shooting up if that reverser is down to where it's supposed to get to. For us to know, we can use tools like Fibonacci insert, Fibonacci expansion. We can use Fibonacci expansion to, to know if that guy, okay, uh, retracement. Okay, let me use Fibonacci retracement first to know if the move is exhausted, okay? That move downward is exhausted. All right. So with this, it's telling me we got to 50.0. So we got to 50.0. And that makes this point now very, very important. So with that, I think I can remove my Fibonacci expansion. Going through Z. I'm coming. Some line went with it, so I want to ensure. Okay, so with this, you can see where price is expecting now. Price is expecting this 38.2 level of Fibonacci uh, retracement too. So with that, if price closes above this 32.8, it's telling us that price will likely reverse backward up. So if you, are, if you trade Fibonacci, you understand this. So you can see price has moved up. To this point, it dropped from that point to 50.0 level and then flipped up to 38.2% level of the Fibonacci retracement too. So if a candle closes above this 38.2, that would be a time to buy it to the next resistance, which all is almost with our 23.6% Fibonacci level. So if it closes above this level, then we we'll buy it to the top top. So that's how we're going to treat this guy this week. But on the flip side, if this guy continues to fall, you can sell this guy back to this support again. And if he breaks this guy, then we might see it get to this uh, 61.8. If he breaks 61.8, then come here. If he break this, then we are going to have 100% retracement, which I doubt will happen this week. All right, so let's hope this guy closes above the 38.2 Fibonacci level, which price has been respecting. You can see price has been respecting that level for some time now. Price has been respecting the level. So that's a very important level. So if price closes above it, then that's the time for us to buy this guy back to 1.2155 level. Then remember, once it breaks this trend line and closes above this resistance, then we buy it upward and upward. So that's how we handle uh, this guy this week, GBP UXD. But remember, we have fundamentals that will affect GBP also this week. Okay, so get prepared for the GDP for pounds this week. So wait and see when candle closes above 38.2% Fibonacci level, then we we'll buy it upward the next resistance. Or we rejected it and it's falling down, we we'll sell it 
to this level and it breaks, we sell it more and then more and more down to our lowest level. This is brought to you by CJC Market. CJC Market is a forest brokerage firm and CJC Market has been in Nigeria for two years now, two years now. CJC Market was two years old on the 3rd of August. Yes, 3rd of August, 2022. And in two years, look at what CJC Market has achieved. The groundbreaking results, clients everywhere, touch so many states in Nigeria, and CJC is growing very fast. I would say it's the fastest growing brokerage firm in Nigeria currently. And it's good to be part of CJC Market family. Enjoy our copy trading system where you copy expert, and if you're a good trader, you also trade on our copy trading system, our platform, and others copy you, and you make money from that. Just imagine you have 100 to 200 people copying your trade. You know what that means? They're going to be sharing profits with you, and you'll be making so much money. Okay, then uh, if you don't have the time to trade, or you're interested in trading, or you're still learning, and but you want to still make money while trading, why not go to our social trading platform, copy others, and make money for yourself? All right. Then apart from this, you can also enjoy our free signals. We have free daily signals, okay, we give to our clients. These signals are very profitable. Sometimes they need 40 to 60 pips a day. So that's massive. So with these signals, you will not get it wrong. You always, you also be trading and be making money for yourself. So it's as simple as that. And all these CJC give to you. And you can see from a platform, we have so many products that you can trade on, so many product you can trade on you at CJC market. And do you know what our cryptocurrency runs weekend? You can trade our cryptos on weekend. So that means CJC market is providing platform for you to trade Monday to Saturday, to Sunday around the clock, like 24 seven. So you have a platform to trade at all times. So you can take advantage of all this uh, with us at CJC market. You can see our Euro USD spread, very small, 0 0.6, very small. And you can trade this and most of our, our clients, they trade Euro US and gold. So you can take advantage of this. Our gold also, the spread is small. So you can trade with us and make so much money for yourself. And you know, we have weekly analysis like this and we have daily analysis. Daily analysis come every 8.30 a.m. every day, Monday to Friday, uh, Tuesday to Friday. My weekly analysis is on Monday by 11 a.m. All these are for you. Then if you want training, you can be a trainer. You can attend our training. Um, if you want training, you can attend our classes, I mean, and train and, and get trained on any of these things I'm doing. They may be surprising to you or you may look at it funny, but when you attend CJC training, then you will have very good experience, just like me. And you start making money from the market also at will. And you know what? Once you have the skill, it becomes yours forever and ever and it becomes part of you. And all this CJC market give to you free of charge. If you are close to Portacot office, why not walk into our Portacot office at 193 Abaru Drumola Junction beside Emirad Hotel, Portacot River State. If you're close to Lagos, why not come to our Lagos office number six, Allen Avenue, Ikeja, Lagos. That's six floor, sorry, six floor, 103. Sixth floor, Moshe Shala House, 103 Allen Avenue, Ikeja, Lagos. If you are, are close to Abuja or Abuja environment, why not go to Abuja office at number 50, Adeto Kumbo, Ademola Crescent, who say to Abuja and enter the cl class. We are on first floor of that building. Then enter the class and enjoy. Okay, all our classes are AC classes and you enjoy the training. And after some time, you become an expert. If you don't have the time to go to our physical office or offices, why not join our online trainings? We have training for you online, whereby you can also learn on Zoom and hold your hand step by step, both basic class, intermediate class, and advanced class. We all arrange this for you. Our advanced class is every Friday in all our offices, so you can go there and you learn for yourself and make money from this international market and you know what you can also be our partner partners are earning so much from us okay we paid thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars to partners so you can be our partner just by introducing people to cjc once you open the partner account we create the uh, portal for you you have a link you give to clients and they sign up under you and 
as they trade from the spread we share with you. And you know what? We pay up to $15 per standard lot. $15 per standard lot. Imagine you generating 100 standard lot every month. I will pay $15 per standard lot. You know how much that? That is $1,500. <laughs> so you can see, with that, you have much money to put in your trading accounts and you'll be able to trade more and make more for yourself. Be smart. Being smart, that's the secret of life. All right, guys. So without wasting much time, let's continue. Um, this is AUD USD weekly time frame. AUD USD. Okay, this is my bias for AUD USD. Bias for this week is bearish. Bearish bias for AUD USD this week. Bias is bearish. Um, closest resistance. It's at um, 0 0.7045. 0 0.7045. That's my resistance for the week, but we have the middle one, which we're seeing here, okay? That's my resistance for the week. All right, so we have the support. This is the support here. The support is 0 0.6870. That's the support, 0 0.6870 support for the week. All right, guys, so with this, I'll flip over to four hours. I've said it, my bias is bearish. Let's flip over to four hours. So from four hours, you can see, last week we drew this and we said, once price breaks below it to go down and see what price did, that was last week. You can see this trend line we drew also, price play, played along the trend line, but did not go beyond the resistance and fell, you see? So if you have taken advantage of this last week, you have made some good money for yourself also. So we had opportunities, lot and lot of opportunities uh, last week. And I know some people smiled and they made something from the market. So this week also we are here and um, let's look at the four hours. Let's see if we can get some uh, very good uh, patterns or trend line set up whereby we can create the breakout and see how price react to that also this week. If you look at this, this is a good one. Yes, if you look at this, this is a good one for the week. And I can extend this down. This is a good one for the week. And as you can see, price has broken that trend line. Okay. Price has broken that trend line. Um, okay. This is a good one for the week. A very nice triangle for the week. Wow. Wow. It's a nice one, actually. Very, very nice one. I haven't seen this today. I just saw it now. So this is a very nice one and price has broken out of it already, as you can see, and um, price should move up, not must, should, okay? Because we don't have the word must in forest, everything is should. So price should move up from what we are seeing now. So with this, I expect price to go up. If, I'm, if I were you, I'm not gonna do anything for now. I will wait. Until, until candle closes above this guy. So one candle closes above this guy, then that's the time for me to buy it higher. For now, don't sell. Don't do anything like sell, okay? Uh, you want to know how far this guy can go. According to this principle, we will have 150 pips. So this guy should move 150 pips upward from the breakage point, breakout point. So you can see it can still go higher. So why not wait and let this guy close above this uh, resistance? Then from there, we buy it upward. And also you should note that this serves like a double bottom. You can see it, and this, is, this will be the neckline. Can you see? So if this neckline is broken, price will respect that move first, upward, till it gets here. When it gets here, then you can watch your trade closely. Because at this point, you may have, you may have a W pattern. And you know what that is. So once we have this pattern, price is likely going to fall back down to the neckline. Or if it breaks it, then it will continue upward. So this is it. It's a very smart move if you do this uh, this week, because this is a very, very good opportunity for us to trade. Uh, I didn't see it. I think I'm, I'm, I'm also going to take this trade uh, very soon, waiting for it to close above this line, okay? But if you are aggressive, if you can't wait, then this is time to enter, but you may, you may experience something like this first. Can we take you up, take you down, then up. But if you are conservative, 
wait for it to close above that resistance before you enter your trade and then follow through. But if you're aggressive, you can enter your trade now from that point because aggressive people, they see and they fire. <laughs> they see and they fire. <laughs> it's okay. So that is a good one uh, for us thus uh, week. But we still bear it in mind that our bias is bearish. Okay, bearish. But what we're seeing now is showing us that it's like we are going bullish for now. So we trade what we see. We don't trade expectation. Many traders fail because they trade expectation. Don't trade expectation. Trade what you can see on the chart. Okay, if you're seeing it going wrong, adjust it or close it. If you're seeing it going right, leave it, let it increase more. If you're seeing nothing, do nothing. <laughs> do nothing. Okay, but here now we can see price has broken out of this guy and is trying to move upward and up higher. So let's leave this and let's go to um, uh, NZD UXD weekly time frame for NZD USD. Bias is neutral for the week. My bias for this guy this week is neutral bias. So expect price to move either direction. Every time we have neutral bias, we'll be expecting price to move either direction. And that is what we'll be looking out for this week, for price to move either direction, okay? For this guy, NZD, UXD. Um, okay, I'm trying to adjust the the profit, this uh, the resistant level. All right, so this is this is it. So bias is neutral. We have neutral bias for the week for NZD USD. Resistance is at zero point six three five zero round figure. Zero point six three five zero level. That will be our resistance. Why support is zero point six two one zero zero point six two one zero that's be our support uh for the week okay so with this we can flip over to four hours and see what four hours has for us okay um last week is gone so let me remove this for last week last week is gone let me remove this for last week okay i'm seeing something but it refused to play out this is it show that one shoulder two, then the head. So this is like head and shoulder. So it refuse to play through, but if price still continues down one and it breaks this level, then boom, to go down. So this, yes, there's a pattern, but let's wait and see what price is going to do, especially from the level where price is now. From this level, it's an important level. Let's see what price will do from this level. I think we should put a weak, uh, trend line in that level to see uh, how price will react to it. Yes, it's a very good level because price has touched it many times. Okay. And there was this rejection from that point. Then it took a very strong news to break it down. So let's see what price will do to that level. Price is at that level now and decision will be taken from that level. But from what I am seeing, I'm also seeing uh, something uh, like this. I'm seeing something like this, just like what we have in AUD USD. I'm seeing something like this. And at the same time, I'm seeing something like this. I believe you can see with me too. Yes, I believe you can see this with me too. Okay, forming this pattern, forming this pattern. So with this, I think we are good to go with our analysis. We are, with this, we are good to go. So we can see from this, a lot of patience is needed. Nothing should be done now. A lot of patience is needed because we expect this guy to close above this trend line first, which has been tested so many times at this point and was rejected. So we expect this guy to go up and close above this guy. Once he closes above this guy, we we'll pull the trigger to buy to this next level. Okay, if he, if he gets to this guy and he falls, then that is time to sell it back to this level. If you break this level, trust me, it might go down as far as this point. So that's a very important position now, but patience is needed. You need to be patient here right now. Be patient and watch it closely. Don't do anything, watch it closely until it closes above this trend line or it's rejected from this trend line down below this support then you can sell it down, all right? So for now, we'll be watching this guy 
closely. And if you want to know if any points of this triangle is broken, price should move, price should move 145 pips. Price should move 145 pips up or down. So if it's broken up, price should move 145 pips. If it's broken down, then price should move 145 pips. Can you see? I said it with my likely return back to this point. So if it breaks this guy down, price should move 145 pips. If you break this guy up, price should move 145 pips up. So you may target you may target 100, 90, 120 pips out of that 145 pips if the breakout occurs. And it may not get there this week, but gradually it will get there. So that's that on, on that for NZD UXD. Let's go to USD card. USD card is also doing great at uh, this moment. Bias for USD card is bullish. Okay, bias for USD card is bullish. Bullish because oil price tumbled last week and we see card weaken. And not that alone, dollar was strong. Okay. And uh, a lot of things contribute to that. We saw that uh, NFP was good, job were created, earnings increases in increased in US, and that made dollar to be strong. So I, for me, I see I expect that strength to continue for the dollars. I expect the strength to continue. Therefore, we might see some special move. Okay. Around this guy uh this week, uh also. We see some very important move this week around this guy. All right, I want to pick the rejection level. It's okay. So with this, we are good to go. So let me bias is bullish. Um, closest resistance 1.2985. 1.2985 closest support. This is not the weekly support. This is the weekly support. The weekly support is 1.2765. 1.2765 is the weekly support. We just added this to be clear. Okay. So we go to four hours and see what the market would for us. So with this, you see price broke out of this guy and he moved up. Though it play around that line. New B will be so so confused. I know new B will be so so confused. So with this, you see what price may likely do this week. Um, for now, I think we have open charts. For now, we have open chart because fixing trend lines here may not make so much sense, but let's just fix it, fix it for fixing sake. Okay. So let's just fix it for, for reference sake. Um, with that, I should be seeing price. As far as price is above this guy, as far as price is above this guy you've seen. As far as prices above this guy you've seen, I am not going to sell USD card. I'm not going to sell USD card. As far as prices above that guy, I am not selling USD card. Okay? So for now, USD card still remain in the bullish trend environment for now. So I expect USD card to move up, though it's, it seems coming down, but I expect that to be contained at this level then we'll see a flip up. And if this is broken to the next resistance, if that is broken to the next resistance, if that is broken to the next and to the next resistance. Okay, so all these are what I'm expecting from USD card. But this is Forex. On the flip side, if this guy comes down and break this guy below, then there's a time to sell it to this guy and then sell it to this trend line. If I extend this trend line, then to this support. So this is how I feel USD card is going to behave uh, this week and we'll be able to trade it accordingly, okay? So, but if you get to this point and it bounces up, then it's time to buy it, watch your trade. If you, buy, if you break this guy, buy it to this point, watch your trade. If you break it, then go. But if you get to this, if you bounce, close your trade and go for a sell and come down again to this uh, level. All right, so lastly, let's look at gold. This is gold, all right? So gold, weekly time frame for gold. Weekly time frame from gold. Um, bias 
remain bullish. Buyers remain bullish. All resistance level are expected. The past ones, we still expect them. Okay. Now this is this can be adjusted. Let me leave this here. So we have a very close resistance points for gold this week. Okay. These are very, very close. Okay. So bias is bullish. Closest resistance at 1783.79. Closest support 1765.00. That's it. So let's go to four hours time frame and see, okay, what gold is doing. Let's let me remove all these guys. They are all split now. And see what gold is doing. All right, guys. So with this, we can see that gold is trying to find his way up. He's trying to find his way up. That's what he's trying to do now. Let me see if we can construct a very nice trend line for it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. You see that that trend line is perfect. I have a reason why I said it's perfect. I will show you the reason why I said the trend line is perfect. Okay. So with this, you can see price touches so many points of the trend line. Then you see there was a reaction here. And look at this guy. Struggle to break it at the first, then finally broke it, uh, broke it up. Then it came down to like test it before move up. Then this point, it tested it again before moving up. So with this, for now, you don't sell good. Don't sell good for now. Don't sell good for now. Watch what good is going to do from this point onward. For me, if you're an aggressive trader, it's time to buy good. So if you if you put a buy, watch it at this level, okay. If it breaks it, then go here, then continue. For me, I feel good. We still move up very strongly this week, except we have a very strong fundamental that we push it downward. Okay, so that is what we have for good this week. And um, you can see good is trying to pull up. And if that upward momentum is maintained, good will start going up till it gets to this level. Then when it breaks this level, it should move up more. But for now, just a weekly movement. So I don't expect it to go beyond this level for now, just for this uh, week movement. All right, guys, this is the analysis this week. Okay, I didn't show you the flip side. The flip side, if gold falls below this line, then it will go here, then go here. I don't expect it to go below this for this week. So this is our analysis for this week. So if you have any question, put up your question and um, I will answer your questions. All right, guys, I'll stop the recording now. If you have any questions,